What's up Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Deluxe Join. Deluxe Join is a simple but highly customizable join and leave message plugin. Let players know who's in your server in style. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for Deluxe Join. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Because there are group-based join and leave action lists, you'll also want a permission management plugin. I'll be using LuckPerms. Assuming you have other plugins you'd like to feature chat placeholders from, you'll need to include placeholder API as well. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Upon joining the server for the first time, we see a welcome message and a plus followed by your player name. After that, we have a huge block of text. This is the MOTD that the plugin adds. Hovering over the player name, we have a player count. Hovering over our name in the MOTD, we have a pop-up saying something. Then we can click the text that says click here and it offers to take us to the plugin spigot page. Let's clear the chat and join the server on another account. All we see is the plus and the player's name. Hovering over it shows us the total player count on the server. Upon leaving the server, we see the player's name but with a minus before it. Super simple and clean. As for commands, there really are none. Slash MOTD brings up the same block of text that we saw when joining. Slash Deluxe Join or Deluxe Join version tells us information about the plugin. Slash Deluxe Join Reload lets us reload the settings from the plugin's config file. The real magic comes from the config and our permissions plugin of choice. Looking at the permissions, we have deluxejoin.admin, which lets a player reload the plugin's config. Deluxejoin.motd lets a player check the MOTD using the command. Then we have deluxejoin.format.identifier and deluxejoin.motd.identifier. This lets players see a different MOTD and appear differently in the chat upon joining and leaving. The identifier is something we'll create in the config. Locate the config in the plugin folder. There's only one file in here, config.yml. The first 130 lines explain what we're looking at here. Understanding what's going on here might be a bit confusing at first glance, but it's really not that bad. Scrolling down to the bottom, we have a list of formats. To make it easier to understand, we can click the arrow on the side to compact or expand this group of options. Inside the formats list, we have default, which is known as the format identifier. This is the identifier part of the permissions that we touched on earlier. Each group can have its own unique appearance, so if a user has multiple permissions from different groups, the plugin needs to know which one to pick. That's why each group has a priority setting. The plugin shows only the MOTD and actions from the permission they have with the lowest priority. The smaller the number, the more important it is. Join underscore actions is what appears in chat when a player connects and leave underscore actions when they disconnect. We'll get into making these in just a second. First underscore join appears for all users. We can enable or disable the announcement completely by changing announce on join from true to false. MOTD allows us to enable or disable the MOTD. If you have another MOTD plugin installed, you'd probably want to disable it here. MOTDs is similar to the deluxe join formats list above. Same group system with priorities, just we have MOTD actions, which is the text that shows up in chat. So let's get to creating our own group so we understand how to edit these. I'll copy all the way from the end of the previous line, just before default, to the end of the line right before first join. Then after copying, I'll click at the end of the line right after everything we've selected to deselect everything. Then I'll hit paste. We've just made our own format group. I'll change the identifier from default to something like test. Then we need the priority number to be the lowest so that it shows instead of the default message. Let's leave it at one, but I'll change the default priority above to say two. Then let's start creating our own messages. While you can edit these by hand, using a website linked in the plugin spigot page makes life a lot easier. Head across to minecraftjson.com and I'll run through the UI. To understand what's happening, we'll recreate the join actions line bit by bit. 
Let's leave basic tell raw selected and at the very top, we'll change the command template to just percentage %s. Then we'll click the blue add text button, we'll select text and in the text box at the top, let's enter some text. The join message starts with an open square bracket, so I'll enter just that. Then we'll select a color. The original message uses dark gray, so I'll pick that as well. Then I'll click save. Let's repeat that for the rest of the text. Add text, text. We'll enter a J for join instead of a plus and choose green. Save. Add text, text, closing square bracket, and a space, dark gray, and save. The next part displays the player's name, and when we hover over the name, it shows the number of online players. How do we do that? Well, let's start by adding text, text. In the text area, we'll enter percentage player percentage, which is the placeholder for the player's name, and will be swapped out for the player's name when they join. For color, I'll pick orange, just so we can see a difference. Then we'll add a hover event, and I'll change it from none to show text. We'll click the new add text button and then text. Looking back at the config, you're probably a little bit confused. The layout is just a little bit wrong. Looking at join actions, we have a red online option. This is actually part of the previous line and not a new option. I'll select the spaces before online and remove them. Then press backspace once to get the text to add to the previous line and I'll enter a space. Now it makes a lot more sense. It's not a new option, it's just part of the text. While I'm here, I'll fix the other lines as well. I'll do the same with the other online options, which are actually just text. Same with the lines down here that are broken up. Looks much better, right? Let's enter what's here into the Minecraft JSON website. Players online, colon, and F percentage online percentage. Then we'll select Aqua. Click the new save button and then click the old save button at the bottom of the page. Now we're done creating our message. Let's copy and paste it into our config. I'll select everything in the command box on Minecraft JSON. Then I'll head back to my config and I'll look for the join actions line. Then I'll select everything from the first curly open bracket to the last one on the line starting with JSON broadcast. Then I'll remove it. So the line is just a hyphen, two single quotes that contain open and closed square brackets around JSON broadcast and a space. Then I'll paste in what I copied just before the last single quote. After doing that, we'll need to do a little bit of cleanup. I'll remove the last square bracket at the end of what we pasted. Then I'll remove everything from the open square bracket at the beginning of what we pasted to the comma. Now we need to just find the commas between each text chunk and replace them with two AND signs. Inside the hover event, we'll change contents to value and we'll remove the open and closed brackets just like we did before with the entire message. After doing that, we've now successfully customized our join message. We can do the same for leave action as well as MOTD actions below. We don't need to add another MOTD if we add custom join and leave text. The same is true for join and leave text. We don't need to add another group if we just want a customized MOTD, unless of course you want both. But to keep this video shorter, I'll leave it at that. Saving the file, I'll head back into the game and run slash deluxe join reload. You can see two formats were loaded. Let's give ourselves the permission so we can actually have that join format as our active one. I'll run slash LP user techno permission set deluxe join dot format dot test to give myself the deluxe join format we just created test. This is of course specific to luck perms and your command for your permissions plugin will likely be different. Upon leaving and rejoining, you can see our custom message in chat. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!